Assalamualaikum Hi Okay this video uh, Question 15 is the last question For paper 1 Okay for this uh, Spring uh, Final sem 2 Okay so it is about um, Given uh, the parallelogram Of PQRS which is given that the point coordinate P, Q, R, and S here. And we can see that our P is 3, 4, Q, 0, W, R, V, 2, and S, 4, 1. So, you have to calculate the value of V and W here. Okay, let's restart how to answer this question. Okay, are you ready? Let's we learn at Max with teacher Jazz. Okay, first I have to draw the diagram. Example, I sketch this uh, quadri, uh, sorry, parallelogram. I put the QPRS here. And then I assume that because this is a parallel line, so the gradient of PS must be equal with the gradient of QR. Let me say this is the first equation. And then we have another gradient for the second parallel line. QP is equals with the gradient RS. Let me say this is the second equation. Okay, so from one. Okay, what we have here, the gradient is 4 minus 1 over 3 minus 4 equal to W minus 2 over 0 minus V. So, we have 3 negative V over... Oh, negative 1, eh? sorry. So, this is negative 1 W minus 2. And I have my V now is equal. Negative 1 W minus 2 divided by. Um, let me see what we have here. Okay. Okay, negative 3. Okay, so I have V, W, minus 2 over 3. Okay, class? Okay. And then, um, from 2, okay, what we have now, I use another color. Okay, I have to color here. Okay, so from 2, I have the 4 minus W over 3 minus 0 equal 1 minus 2, 4 minus V. You just use the formula for the gradient, okay? <coughs> okay, so I have now 4 minus W multiply 4 minus V equals to negative 1 multiply 3. Correct, class? Okay, and then I have 16 minus 4V minus 4W plus WV equals negative 3. And I have WV minus 4V equal um, 4W. Minus 19 And I X, A factor V I got W minus 4 And this one is W minus 19 so V is equals 4 W minus 19 over W minus 4 okay so I got the second V here so you can see that we have a uh, two value of V here okay we can see how uh, if we want to uh, answer the two variable and Actually, uh, it is easy when we try to make one of the variable in the term of the other variable. So, now we have the V with the same uh, variable W. Okay. So, next, we have to compare from the uh, V 
from 1 and the V from 2. Okay, are you ready? So, let's we continue. Okay, now we compare okay, the V from 1 and the V from 2. Okay, so we have uh, W minus 2 over 2. 3 equal with the 4W minus 19 over, sorry, W minus 4. Uh, so now we can easily to calculate because we have only one variable here, W. So we cross multiplication here. Okay. So, I would like to share you how to calculate for this uh, W2, w, um, W minus 2 and W minus 4. Okay, using the table method. Okay, let's we have here 1, 2, 3. Okay, this is W, this is negative 2. And this is W, this is negative 4. So, how you... I put the value okay based on this uh bracket and then this uh row first row and third row you just multiply and the first column and the three column also you have to multiply and the last one you add on so we got negative two w okay oh sorry i use uh other color to get the answer okay this is negative two w this is negative 4W. Okay, this is... Uh, oh, sorry. I ch forgot the... The... Apa? The arrange... Uh, how to arrange uh, this one. Sorry, sorry. Okay, it's supposed to be like this. W... Okay, W negative 2 here. W negative 4 here. Okay. And then, uh, we can calculate W square. This is positive A. Okay, this is negative 2W and this is negative 4W. Sorry, eh? sorry. And for the, uh, for the middle of the column, we have to plus. So, we got uh, negative 2 plus negative 4W is negative 6W. So, our answers are this one. Uh, you take the middle value here. So, that's why we can have answer for this one is W square minus 6W plus 8 equal 12W minus 57. Okay, and then we have W square for... It's not for W, sorry. Okay, this is uh, 6 W minus 12 W plus 8 plus 57 equals to 0. And then we have the W square minus 18 W plus 55. Okay, so let me see what we have here. Plus eight. Okay. And then, when we have the w minus 18W plus 55 here, we do the uh, factorization. We get the answer for Y minus 13. And, eh, sorry, W minus 13 and W minus... So the answer is 13 and W equals to 5. So we take this answer. Okay, this is omit. Because if you can see that, okay, it is uh, not reasonable to take our W equals to 13. Okay. And then... Um, If your W equals to 5, your V equals to, what we have V? W minus 2 over 3 
so 5 minus 2 over 3 so we get v equal 1 so this is our last answer w equals to 5 and v equals to 1 okay so I hope from uh, my explanation for this question 15, there is given four vertices for the parallel logram PQRS. How you want to calculate the value of V and W, which is your V and W is certain of the coordinate for uh, inside the vertices, for the vertices here. So, first the tip for this question. Okay, you can see that we have a two pairs of parallel lines. So, we can say that the first pairs of parallel line as the one equation for the gradient are same. And the second parallel lines are the same gradient for the second uh, equation. And from the first equation and the second equation, make a term of the subject. Okay, example, you want to take V first. And then you use your V to substitute into your the second equation for W. And lastly, you will have the same, sorry, the, uh, the same variable only, the one variable only. Okay, so now we have only the W here. So lastly, we can find our W. And when we have our W, the value, we can substitute into our the first one uh, equation that we have V there. Okay, so we got the last answer. Uh, w equals to 5, V equals to 1. Okay, this is uh, the... Uh, method table method okay easy to calculate the uh, expand bracket okay without using the arrow lah. okay so i hope uh, from all the 15 quest uh, 15 videos for the 15 question for this uh, exercise final spring final same two helps uh, you all to um, revise all the uh, Topics that we have learned for SAM 2 for ADMATS Form 4. And teacher Jess, uh, doakan semoga you all uh, dapat uh, kejayaan yang cemerlang dalam your uh, final exam SAM 2 for ADMATS uh, subject. Okay, good luck you all. Do your best. Okay, bye.